for many real world applications such as parallelly stacked printed circuit boards radiative air heaters etc the flow of air between the components can be simplified to that of a natural convection between parallel plates the flow and heat transfer characteristics can vary depending on the orientation of these plates that is whether they are aligned vertically or inclined and on the thermal conditions of each of the plates in this lesson we will take a deeper look at each of these situations based on their orientation a parallel plate configuration can either be categorized as vertical or inclined in a vertical configuration the direction of the buoyancy force is vertical and a fluid flow is established in this vertical or stream wise direction in the inclined configuration buoyancy force has two components that is stream wise and normal to the surface and as a result leads to strong secondary flows if we consider the ratio of l over s where l is the length of the plates and s is the separation between the plates for small ratios that is for shorter channels or for channels with really large plate separation the boundary layers develop independently over each plate in such a situation the plates can be analyzed individually and the heat transfer rates can be estimated based on the external flow relationships developed for an isolated play in quiescent fluid however for longer channels or channels with narrow spacing the boundary layers on the plates interact with each other eventually attaining a fully developed profile in such a situation new correlations are needed to predict the heat transfer rates these correlations strongly depend on the surface conditions of the plates that is symmetric or asymmetric isothermal or isoflux conditions let us now look at these situations in a bit more detail for a vertical channel at symmetric isothermal conditions that is ts1 is equal to ts2 ellen bass proposed the following correlation This correlation is applicable only for air and the Rayleigh numbers in the range shown here. The Rayleigh number used in this correlation can be calculated using the following relation where the characteristic length s is the separation between the two plates. The average Nusselt number is given by the equation shown here. For channels where s over l is small a fully developed limit is reached at this limit the correlation for calculating the nusselt number reduces to the form shown here the subscript fd refers to the fully developed condition for a situation where one of the plates is heated isothermally and the other adiabatically the average nusselt number for the isothermal plate can be obtained using the following correlation Bar Cohen and Rohesno obtained the following correlation which is valid for any value of s over l by combining the correlations for both the isolated plate and the fully developed limit the values of the constants depend on the surface condition and are shown in this table it can be inferred that the heat transfer from each of the plates reduces with increasing plate separation distance from this correlation it is possible to obtain optimal plate spacing sopt which maximizes the heat transfer for an array of isothermal vertical plates let us assume that the fins of a heat sink can be represented by an array of vertical parallel plates over a fixed width w The fluid flow driven by buoyancy forces must overcome the viscous forces due to the fins. 
the mass flow rate between two adjacent fins is in fact a balance between the buoyancy and the viscous forces. As the spacing between the plates is decreased, the viscous forces increase leading to reduced mass flow rates and hence lower heat transfer rates. However, reducing the plate separation distance also increases the total number of plates in the given volume. As a result, the total plate surface area of heat transfer AS, increases. At a specific value of S, referred to as SOPT, the product of H bar and AS is maximum and consequently is the condition where maximum heat transfer is obtained from the parallel plate array. For values of S less than SOPT, the reduction in heat transfer due to viscous effects overpowers the increase of heat transfer surface area and on the other hand for S greater than SOPT the decrease in the number of plates per specific volume reduces the heat transfer surface area overpowering the increase in heat transfer levels due to reduced viscous effects. The following table shows the empirical relations that can be used to calculate the optimum plate separation distance. To maximize the heat transfer from each plate, the distance between the plates should be large enough to prevent the merging of the boundary layers from the adjacent plates. The value of S at this condition is generally referred to as S max. Till now, we analyzed the vertical plates at isothermal condition. Let us now look at the constant heat flux condition. For convenience, we define a local Nusselt and Rayleigh numbers as shown here. TSL refers to the plate temperature at X is equal to L where the temperature is maximum. For symmetric conditions, that is QS1 is equal to QS2, the fully developed limit is given by the following correlation. A similar limit is obtained for an asymmetric heating condition with one surface at constant heat flux condition Q double prime S1 and the other at adiabatic condition that is Q double prime S2 is equal to zero. Bar Cohen and Rohesnau also proposed a correlation for local Russell number at the constant heat flux condition which is valid for all values of S over L. For an array of vertical plates with constant heat flux condition, the total volumetric heating rate increases with decreasing plate spacing. The primary objective of the heat transfer analysis with constant wall flux condition is to maintain the surface temperature value below a certain prescribed limit. Therefore, the optimal plate separation spacing, that is SOPT, is defined based on the maximum volumetric heat dissipation per unit temperature difference, TSL minus T infinity. For a prescribed heat flux value, the maximum spacing S max is defined as the spacing between the plates that leads to the lowest possible surface temperature without accounting for any volumetric considerations. The values of C1, C2 and the relations used to obtain SOPT for the constant heat flux conditions, both symmetric and asymmetric, are shown in the following table. Let us switch gears and quickly analyze the inclined parallel plates configuration. Sparrow and Azevedo obtained the heat transfer relations for inclined channels by conducting experiments with water as the working fluid. For small angles of inclination, they obtained the following correlation for both symmetric isothermal plates and isothermal adiabatic plate configurations. The experimental data was observed to depart from the given correlation at large inclinations with bottom surface heating. This was attributed to enhancement in heat transfer because of the formation of 3D secondary flows. This brings us to the end of the lesson.